analog missions. You've been a big part of a lot of analog missions. First, let's start with kind of that definition of what an analog mission is to NASA. Okay. So Earth is a really amazing place. And actually, about a third of what NASA does is studying our home planet. Uh, But what we found in studying our home planet is that there are a lot of extreme environments here on Earth that actually serve as analogs for other places. Not in every single respect, but in certain respects. And that's helpful for us as scientists, as engineers, working on developing missions. If we can do a lot of tests here on Earth, make sure we understand how things break, um, what kind of limits of detection we might expect, say, for uh, looking for a certain biosignature, By doing those here, we can uh, be able to make our missions a lot more likely to succeed and a bit more robust. And so there are a ton of places, uh, some of the driest deserts in the world, for example, the Atacama Desert in Chile or Death Valley are really great analogs for some dry places like Mars. We also explore some of these icy environments. There are all sorts of glaciers, glaciers. and beautiful mountaintops, places that we can use as analogs for some of these ocean worlds, uh, worlds that tend to have thinner atmospheres or no atmospheres, much colder conditions, um, and a lot of water ice. And so we will sometimes we'll use them as science analogs, and we'll try to characterize the organisms there, extremophiles. There are a whole host of them that can survive in conditions you couldn't even imagine would be possible. Uh, But then we'll also use them as sort of engineering and technology analogs where we'll go test a robot, make sure it can it can move and navigate in the ways that we would expect on a really gnarly terrain. So there are all sorts of different things that we can do. And the national parks are an incredible opportunity to take advantage of some of the beauty that we have, be able to gain some of that that's operational knowledge. And also we usually couple it with some outreach for the local community and visitors to the park. So when folks go to Moab, to Arches, or Canyonlands, or they go to Death Valley, and they feel like they're on a different planet, there's some validity to that. Absolutely. And I hope that they can take that with them, that picture yourself standing on the surface of Mars or the surface of Europa. Granted, you would get uh, probably a lethal dose of radiation pretty quickly in some of those places, but you can do so a little bit more safely here, but definitely wear sunscreen. (laughs) 